YouTube, it's Mitch at MyMaya.com. Today we're going to be doing a downgrade from iOS 8 Beta 4 back to iOS 7 1.2. First thing you need to do is make sure you have a backup of your device. That's the most important thing before you start this. Then I'm going to show you that we are officially running iOS 8 Beta 4. Here's the new tips app that was released in Beta 4. So as you can see, it definitely is here we're in beta 4 here's the uh, health app and if that's not enough then inside the about here is the iOS 8 version right there so let's go ahead and get started the first thing you need to do is go to the Felix Bruins website I'll have it linked below in the description download the correct firmware for your device the correct IPSW and I have already gone ahead and downloaded it for the iPhone 5 you see here so now you need to hold down the option and alt key while inside iTunes and click on the IPSW that you just downloaded so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna hold down on the option and click at the same time and we get a pop-up box and it's going to bring us up to the desktop here and now you see we have iPhone 5712 now once you click on that it's going to tell you it's going to erase your data and 712 and it will verify that the restore with Apple that's perfectly normal go ahead let it do its thing this normally will take about five to ten minutes so just sit back and watch I'm not going to turn the camera off but I will speed through this so we don't have to sit and wait for this through the whole video it would just be silly for me to make you guys wait through that so I'll be back when there's something to show Once your phone is restored back to factory settings you will have to go click on the restore button to restore it back to a previous backup in order to have to, to, to prevent you from having to enter all your mail uh, apps and all that stuff back in all the information and you can see here we're back at the original uh, desktop and all this so I'm going to go ahead and walk it through this and I'm going to restore uh, from iCloud and just tap OK and I'll have to enter my password it's too old so just use this one here from the iPod touch pretty much all I'm interested in is getting my mail and all that stuff my uh, message message apps and all that stuff back on there my conversations and you can see I got a restore in progress and once this completes guys you're done so it looks like we've done this in uh, under 10 minutes we're at eight minutes and a half right now and that's from start to finish and it we're at less than a minute here on completing the backup or the restore guys I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button be sure to bookmark this so you'll know where it's at when you need it again. Share it on Facebook. That helps me out. And give me a like on there. That really helps me too. And keep coming back.